Dear students, in the previous video, we have seen how to install CentOS 7 on Oracle VM VirtualBox. In this video, we will learn how to install Debian on Oracle VM VirtualBox. For that, you have to download the Debian version from your internet. So search for the Debian and open the first link where you will get the various options. Out of that, choose the option CD, USB, ISO images and then go down and click on the options download the live images using HTTP, FTP. Then here you can find the official live install images for the stable releases out of which uh, I am going to choose the second option that is DVD USB and click on the AMD 64 bit. Once you click on that you will get the location where all the images have been stored and out of which you can choose uh, the genome based kind of image here Debian live 10.5.0 AMD 64 genome.iso file is available and is of size around 2.4 GB so I have already downloaded this image I will show you how you can how you how it looks like when you download so here you can find that I have downloaded the Debian image which is of size around 2.5 GB for AMD 64 bit and now we'll switch to the virtual box environment and from where we'll start the actual installation for that you have to switch to the machines click on new and type the name of operating system that you would like to assign suppose I would like to assign the name here as Debian for example 10 then click on the next it will automatically choose the type and version click next then specify the size of RAM that you would like to assign for this then click on the next create a virtual hard disk now and click create then provide the virtual box disk image that your hard disk can be considered as an image on your virtual box click next select the storage option that is dynamically allocated click on the next then the file location it will automatically choose and the hard disk size you have to provide and I am going to extend this up to around 21 GB then create so it will create the location of all your files related to virtual machines in the C drive then click on create so now we have provided the initial configuration for the Debian 10 now we have to provide some more settings before going to start with the actual installation under the setting tab select the first general and in basic you can see the name type and version is selected under the advanced tab select the option shared clipboard as a bi-directional drag and drop as a bi-directional description is optional if you want you can add or the disk encryption also then switch to the system tab where you can find the base memory size bootloader chipset the pointing device if it is PS2 here you can change it to USB tablet so that you can use your mouse on base machine as well as on your virtual machines select the second tab processor and I am going to choose the two processor code for this OS when I am using the Debian then display we will not make any changes to the displays and switch to the next tab that is storage under the storage tab here you have to provide the disk image that you have downloaded for that click on controller IDE and click on empty and from this attribute location it will choose the location of your disk file that you have downloaded that is our ISO image so click on the Debian and open it then there are other several options we will discuss about these options during the next sessions then simply click on OK and now your Debian is ready to start the actual installation so click on this Debian 10 and start so it will start the booting and during the booting it will it will again ask you to provide the disk image through which you would like to start the installation so you can find now the Debian here from the drop down and click on the start close this messages and here the main menu uh, that will allow you to start the installations by using the down arrow key you can move simply up and down 
and from this you have to choose the option graphical debian installer then click enter now it will allow you to select the various options uh, to choose for the installation further so here i am choosing the language as english so simply click on continue then united states continue then english as american english continue So it will load all the installer components that are required from the disk image that we have downloaded and we are using that for the installations. Once it will take all the installer components, you have to set the network uh, configurations. Then I will keep it as it is. Host name you have to provide basically. Uh, so I am giving the Debian only. Click continue. The domain I will keep the blank, then click next, continue. Then you have to choose the root password. Suppose I am using some, uh, setting some root password here. And you have to re-enter the same password that you are using. And then click on continue. So you have to provide the full name of uh, the new user. Suppose I am going to add some user as user1. And then click on continue then the name of the user as user1 and again you have to choose the password for the user that you want to choose so you can set any password then click on continue and then it will ask you the clock in which you would have you would like to start so i'm choosing it as a central and then click continue It will load all the related uh, configurations automatically from the image that you have downloaded. So now here it will ask you to choose the installer uh, for the various options such as which type of partitions you would like to use for the disk. So it provides you the various options like guided uh, use the entire disk and for LVM and encrypted LVM and manual. So we will use the entire disk and click on continue. Then it will ask you the location of your hard disk. So it will choosing the hard disk size that we have provided as 22.8 GB. Then click continue. Then uh, it will ask you the partitions that you would like to create. So I am using the first option all files in one partition. Then click continue. Then it will uh, give you the partitions that it automatically create. One of the partition that you can see is the root. And second one is you can see as a swap. Then click continue. Then here it will ask you, uh, it will ask the options about the partitions that you have created. So uh, if, you are, if you would like to continue with that, you can choose yes and then write the changes to the disk. So you can make it to the yes and then click on continue. So it will create the partitions that it has automatically chosen and now it will start the installation further. So once it will load all the uh, images, all the configurations, then you have to choose the network mirror image as yes and click on continue. Then select uh, the Debian archive mirror country from which country you would like to download the mirror image. I am choosing the United States. Uh, it has automatically chosen the archive mirror image URL. Then click continue. Then the proxy information should be uh, given in the standard form like this. So I am using the HTTP proxy. Click continue. You have to keep it as blank. And now it will configure according to the mirror link that you have provided. And then it will ask you the remaining details. Now here you have to choose the grub bootloader to the master boot record. And you have to keep it as a yes. And then click on continue. Then it will ask you to enter the device manually. Click continue. Then device for the boot installation clip it, uh, it as a blank. 
then it will automatically now start the bootloader or install all the bootloader details of your Debian and it is trying to finish the installations as here you can see the installation is complete now and you have to click on the continue option now it is going to finish all the configurations that are required to start the Debian now it is almost completed the installation and if you face any issue just power off the machine and you can restart it again so that you will now get the Debian 10 installer okay then click on the start so it will start uh, the booting process it will take some time so you have to wait for some time to boot it 